Hello and welcome to the Curriculus. Today we are in Diablo 4. Now before I go further into this game, I kind of wanted to pause and do a video on the character customization and just how goddamn good this game is looking. Honestly, I'm stoked for this game. I cannot wait for it to release. Obviously, the beta is available to play at the moment. If you've pre-ordered, I believe there's an open beta as well. Um, it depends when you're watching this video, of course, but I'm currently playing the beta and my god, this game looks amazing. I'm absolutely stoked to get stuck into this game and these characters, these characters look so bloody good. I was not expecting these graphics to look this good this is kind of like a top town type of game and um like i said guys the the characters just look so good so detailed the armor like the detailed armor look at this druid look how good this druid looks i'm very very excited for this game let's have a look i think we're going to choose the druid first to have a look at we're going to have a little play and customize our own dude it looks like we've got a few different faces here to pick from um i wonder which one should be ours there's some pretty cool faces these are like pre-generated of course um what do we got we got some face variants only four but you know what? It doesn't matter if we don't have hundreds upon hundreds of choices. What matters is just how good this looks. And can we put our own unique touch on it as well? Looks like we can change our skin color too. I kind of want to go for like a like an Icelandic um, druid. You know what I mean? Like a Viking druid. Um Let's see what else we can do. Eye color. Now hair is going to be make or break for me. I don't want no hair. So as long as, uh, as long as it covers us on that option, we should all be good. There we go. Nice and bold. What else we got? Little top knot. Little ponytail. There's some random choices. I wonder if all these choices are the same for every like class that we actually pick. We could do a top knot. Our dude looks massive, like absolutely massive. Notice how we haven't actually been able to like change our body's height or weight. Facial hair. We need a big beard. There we go. What else they've got? Anything good? We need to go back to that other one. I like that one. Yeah, that's our beard. That looks good. Beard color. Kind of like how we can pop on and off our armor as well. We can put on some makeup. A little bit of face paint. More than makeup, I think. See if we can intimidate our foes. And we got some jewelry options as well. These are earrings, I guess. Maybe a nose ring. I don't know, guys. I think this looks really, really sick. Kind of interested to see just if every single character has the same stuff or if it's a little bit different. Do you know what? It feels a little bit basic. It feels like we don't have a huge amount of options, but it does look good. And our character does look absolutely beastly, which is pretty cool. He, I think he looks like a druid. I think he looks like a druid that's eaten an entire deer, but he looks like a druid. That's kind of cool. What else we got? We got one more option. Mm. I wonder how often we're actually going to get to see these markings though, within the actual game. Obviously, we're going to be wearing armor, I assume. 
I do like our armor though. It's pretty cool. Like wearing like a wolf for a helmet. It makes sense. It makes sense being a druid and all that. Being, you know, uh, in touch with wildlife. Let's have a look at the necromancer. I want to see the necromancer's armor. Couple of pre registered characters again. Let's see what she looks like with a few different altercations. Change her eye color. This armor looks absolutely amazing. The shield, not so much, but the armor just looks on point. Now, she's a necromancer. Maybe I wouldn't have gone so armorish with a necromancer in general, but it does look very, very cool. I like how it's got like the skeletons, the skeleton like on the outside of the armor. And have we got that skull on the side like that? I wonder what animal that was. No facial hair options for our female character. I think that's a bit mean. I think if we wanted a beard, we should have a beard. I think she'd look very good with a beard. Maybe a nice green beard. We can have green hair though, that's kind of cool. Poison hair. It suits the necromancer as well. Accessories. Makeup option. It's pretty much the same. So it's pretty much the same. Uh, although this is for a female character, so I wonder if it would have been different if we'd have chosen the male. Obviously, the only thing that's really been changed is the fact that we can't have a beard from male to female. I've got to say that I'm very impressed with Diablo 4's graphics so far. I think the char character customization, it gives you enough to give you a sense of ownership on the character that you're playing as. Um, it's not terribly detailed and in-depth, but it does certainly give you that feel that this is your character, which I quite like. We've got the fighter now. Let's see what the fighter looks like. I like the tattoos. That's kind of cool. That's like pre-generated character right there. Ah, oh, this armor looks absolutely sick. That's very cool armor. Again, the level of detail that's gone on, gone into these character customizations is so good. Really, really cool. Let's check out who the the sorcerer. I love the sorcerer in almost all games. This would be really cool. Oh, we can zoom out. I didn't realize we could zoom out. We may have missed a trick. I love how it's just completely different from the other classes as well. Like the this like pre-generated armor. It's just completely different from all the others. It looks completely unique. This is our sorceress. I'd name her Yennefer because this seriously looks like Yennefer right now. If anyone, any Witcher fans out there. And this, of course, is the male variant. I think I prefer the female, to be fair. Last one has to be the rogue. Let's see what the rogue looks like. Let's go for the male this time. Stick that armor back on. That does look so cool. That bow looks nice. You gotta like a rogue. Absolutely got a like array. Let's have a look at that bow again. That's a beautiful bow, man. That's really cool. I love the detail 
in this game. Well guys, that's all I really wanted to show you, just you know what this game has to offer when it comes to character customization. It's not necessarily very, very deep, but you know what? I'm quite happy with it. I think it looks absolutely stunning and I am stoked for Diablo 4 to be hitting um, consoles very, 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 very soon. If you want to hear more Diablo 4 kind of videos, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned because we will be bringing more Diablo 4 content to the channel very, very soon. But until then, guys, take it easy and happy gaming.